Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the top five reasons you're not viewed as an expert despite your experience and credibility. I work with established coaches and consultants, and typically these are people that have decades of experience behind them. They may even have a relatively new business that's a couple years old, or they could have been coaching or consulting for more than a decade. Even with experience, however, many coaches and consultants struggle to be viewed as an expert. You may feel that you also struggle with this. Perhaps you have the experience and you get your clients great results, but when it comes to online perception, you don't feel that you're really demonstrating expert authority. In today's video, I wanna talk about the top five most common reasons why you may not be viewed as an expert and give you practical tips for how you can start to turn things around. Hi, my name is Jessica Yarbrough and I'm a business strategist for coaches and consultants who want to sell and scale ultra high end packages. When it comes to selling things at a higher price point, you absolutely need to be able to demonstrate your expertise. Can you imagine pitching a deal for multiple six figures when you're not showing up as an expert? Probably not. In fact, the likelihood that you would even get the opportunity to pitch when you're not positioned as an expert is quite low. So if you want to be able to get in front of highly qualified leads that have the ability to invest top dollar in your services, you absolutely need to be viewed as an expert. Let's dive in. Number one, one of the number one reasons why coaches and consultants are often not viewed as experts is because they do not talk about their background. And I work with highly credible clients. Many are former senior level directors and I've worked with lots of clients that held C-suite positions in the past. My clients are also typically highly educated. Many have masters and even PhDs from Ivy League universities. So they have the education, the experience, the accolades, and yet, this doesn't translate into how they're perceived by others. One of the best things that you can do to position yourself as an expert is to really showcase everything that you bring to the table. And yes, this absolutely means your experience before you were a coach or consultant. Look, most people don't start out as an entrepreneur. Most start working for an organization. And during their career, they create transformation within their organization. Then they go on, out on their own and start their coaching or consulting business. So one of the best things you can do is start to bring your background to the forefront and really showcase your decades of experience your, and your education that you bring to the table as a now coach or consultant. Another huge reason why many coaches are, and consultants are often not viewed as experts is because they do not talk about their client success stories. I've had people hire me that have been coaching or consulting for a decade or more and they have virtually no social proof. They haven't taken the time to really collect client case studies so that they can share them with the world. In fact, one of the things that I teach in my program is how to measure, assess, and successfully collect and create powerful client success stories that help build your credibility. And there's a real art and science to how you do this, but the bottom line is that you can show up and call yourself an expert all day long, and you may even have some experience, but you also must have the power of the proof. People want to see real life examples of how working with you created a transformation within an individual or in an organization. Another big reason why coaches and consultants are often not viewed as experts is they don't have their own unique codified system. So many coaches and consultants are certification collectors. They're constantly investing in someone else's method for creating transformation. And then when they work with their own clients, they're literally pulling from all of these different certifications instead of just creating their own unique offering. A powerful way for you to be viewed as an expert is to create a unique system. I call this your pathway. Think of your clients are in this valley of pain and they want to get to that mountain of potential. Without your help, they're gonna go through peaks and valleys and honestly, they may never make it up the mountain. Your unique system is the bridge that's gonna take them from where they're at to where they wanna go. It's the exact steps they need to go through to get there and it's yours. It's not pulling from a bunch of other certified partner programs. This is one of the deepest dive aspects of the initial work that I do with my clients. Together, we build out their system. And when you have this piece dialed in, you can absolutely attach a high five, if not multi six figure price tag to what you do. By the way, if you haven't already downloaded a copy of The Ladder of Influence, I talk about how you can scale your authority so that you can grow your coaching or consulting business. Be sure to grab a copy. The link is pinned in the comments below. The next big reason why coaches and consultants are often not viewed as experts is that they don't know how to explain what they do in a clear and concise way. So let me ask you this. When people ask you what you do, are you able to answer this quickly? Is it clear? 
or are you long-winded and confusing? Most of the coaches and consultants that hire me really struggle with how to communicate what they do. And by the way, these are people that are already making multiple six figures. See, if you cannot easily explain what you do, then you lose the opportunity to work with someone. You literally run out of runway before ever taking off. When you have your value proposition and messaging dialed in, it really elevates your business to the next level you're able to attract really qualified premium clients and you have the confidence to articulate your value and close them into high value programs. Finally, another big reason why coaches and consultants are often not viewed as experts is because their branding is actually hurting them. The way that you show up visually impacts people's perception of you. This includes using colors and fonts that may not connect with your ideal client. It also means the types of photos that you have all the way down to the way that you're dressed and styled in those photos. So many people I come across are not presenting themselves in an elevated fashion. And no, I'm not talking about sporting Gucci hand bags. I'm talking about the way that you present yourself. I had a client years ago who bought my highest level program who told me that one of the reasons why they even got on an initial call with me was because they were so impressed with how I was showing up. If you want to attract next level clients that are going to pay you a lot of money, you absolutely need to carry yourself in a way that elevates you as an expert. Yes, your clothes matter. Yes, the types of photos you, you use absolutely matter. And yes, your colors and the visual identity of your brand matter. This is actually so important that it's an essential component to the strategy we support our clients with. This wraps up my video on the top five reasons why coaches and consultants are not viewed as experts despite having massive experience. If you'd like our support, be sure to click the link below and apply for a call. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe so you know when each of my new videos drops. Until next time.